Welcome back for day two of the Leggett Automotive Group Virtual Auto Show. Today, we're taking a look at what's coming down the pipeline from your favorite automotive brands. Product experts from Leggett Automotive Group will walk you through vehicles and features we know you'll be excited about. Without further ado, let's get started with your daily exotic feature. We're kicking off every day with exotic features presented by our friends at Legendary Motor Car. Be sure to check out their full collection of amazing classic cars and restorations at legendarymotorcar.com. Holy cow, this thing's like being shot out of a cannon. 20 years ago, we started doing TV, and now Gary's convinced me we need to do this on YouTube, so here we are. ago the Enzo blew me away on the street. Now I get to put my hands on the Enzo in one of its rarest forms. If you want to be in the company of the likes of Michael Schumacher, John Todd, and even His Holiness himself, boy do we have a car for you. Today we're going to have a look at this 2003 353 mile Ferrari Enzo. Now everyone knows what an Enzo is, but what few people might not realize is that this car is one of only a handful that came in this color. The same color as the Formula One cars in 2003, Rosso Scuderia, not to be confused with Rosso Corsa. Let me show you the difference. Over here looking at the F50, clearly a deeper red than what is almost orange on the Enzo in comparison. I drove an Enzo a few years back on the show and frankly what impressed me most was how well the car stopped. With these big 15 inch carbon ceramic rotors and Brembo calipers, it was actually ahead of its time. This car stops on a dime. First thing you notice when you get in here is the rich leather smell. Second thing are the seats. Obviously carbon fiber, proper race seats. The bolsters hug your ribs and your legs beautifully. You know, this thing is a track car, it's a supercar. You've gotta be snug in the seat in order to be able to perform on the track. Being a lightweight supercar, Obviously not a lot in here. There's no screens, there's no nav, there's no radio. There's just climate control from 66 to 78 degrees. These seats are actually the color of the interior of the car that was the launch car in 2002 in Paris. Comparing the Ferrari Enzo's interior to its three supercar predecessors, you'll notice it's actually a lot more sophisticated. F40, F50, it was absolutely nothing. They were stripped down. I feel like Ferrari really stepped up on the interior when they decided to build the Ferrari Enzo. Maybe because it was named after the boss. Everything you want to control is super intuitive. It's almost all on the steering wheel. Beautiful thumb locks. The horn is right here, right at your thumb. Both turn signals, again, right at your thumbs here. And then all the modes, all the options, race mode, traction control off, reverse, all on the steering wheel, and then axle lifts in the front. You know, it's a supercar. The thing sits low. If you're gonna go into a parking lot, you don't wanna be the guy scraping the nose. You just hit this button, the front end lifts up, and then you've got all the clearance you'll need. My dad and I have a long running disagreement. I was 10 years old when this thing came out. In my mind, this was the first real supercar. Why? F1 style paddle shifts. Since it was the first Ferrari supercar to have paddle shifters, it's the first Ferrari supercar to have only two pedals, brake and a gas. So it feels pretty offset. Then with your feet in this position, they probably noticed that your leg was just banging against this carbon fiber piece here and they put this nice little knee pad in. The carbon weave everywhere is just beautiful, especially for Ferrari standards. Interesting parking brake on this thing actually fits your hand perfectly. When you pull it up, it locks, and then you can push it back down to get it out of the way. From where you're sitting, you can see the two important badges, Enzo Signature and the limited production number, 399. So Ferrari announced they were gonna build 399 of these things. Then they built one more for the Pope, same color as this car. And then just a few more for Schumacher and Jean Todd. All right, let's have a look at the engine now. Uh Everything on a Ferrari is an experience. And look at this lightweight hood prop. This is a thing of beauty. V12, six liter, dual overhead cams, on display for everyone to see. 
Again, as much carbon fiber back here as you could imagine. All braided hoses, just like a race car. And you can see back here, the push rod actuated shocks on display. Now for the best part. Obviously, we're not going to drive this 353 mile Enzo, but we are going to get to fire it up. <laughs> Listen to that thing, it gets me every time. The biggest engine Ferrari had put in a car since the days of Can Am. V12, 6 liter. Oh, what a monster. 223 miles an hour at the top end and 660 horsepower. So there was a tradition on the old show Dream Car Garage. We would ask the question, do you need a car like this? And do you want a car like this? Well, Ferrari actually decided that three people, Schumacher, Jean Todd, and the Pope, they need a car like this. The average person probably doesn't need a car like this. But do you want a car like this? Yeah, you want a Ferrari Enzo. And now, what's coming in 2022 and 2023 from your favorite automotive brands? The Z06 was a code for a track-oriented performance option on the 1963 Corvette. The only way you would even know to order it was through people whispering in people's ears, if you want to go racing, right in the box, you want Z06 option and you'll get all the specialty hardware. It wasn't until the fifth generation that we brought it back and it's become a brand unto itself. You want it to go faster, stop faster, turn faster. Basically, it's the most track-oriented Corvette that we do. Through the fifth, sixth, seventh, and now eighth generation car, we've moved the streetcar and the racer closer and closer together. The heart of the Z06 is the engine. We had mid-engine architecture, which was a big step forward, but we also needed that power. There was a niche following that really pined for the immediate response, the lightweight, visceral feel of a naturally aspirated engine that would exceed the horsepower of the prior generation supercharged Z06. What kind of powertrain would we need to do that? The only way to achieve that is to do the highest horsepower naturally aspirated V8 that's ever done in automotive history. That's what had to happen. Oh, this is the mag ride, too. Can I just start it? <laughs> Wait, can I start it? We really looked at um, how, to, how to get the engine that we really all wanted to have, which was um, a flat plane crank V8. That was what we really wanted to do. Step on it, step on it. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, it revs so hard! Oh. <laughs> this is crazy! Oh my God, it's still going! <laughs> Having a, a C8 stingray myself, Z51 package, just to see the RPM go to eight and a half K, I think it's actually 8,600. Yep. This is nuts. Most of us are used to shifting a V8 
you know, 65, 6,600 at the, at the highest. The LT6 will rev to 8,600 RPM. From 7,000 to almost 9,000 was a whole different range that not many people get to experience. And it makes power the whole way up. So even when you're up in those higher RPM ranges, you could tell when we stepped into the gas more, you could still feel it pulling. Yeah. This time, we're changing everything but the doors, the roof, and the hatch. It typically starts at the road. Wider wheels and tires, packaging larger diameter brakes, more traction, more stopping power, better cornering power. The front and rear fascias, fenders and quarters, all the aerodynamic stuff is different. A big part of the Z06 mission is in its chassis. The architecture was designed to put power to the ground like no Z06 before it. 20 inch diameter wheels in the front, and for the first time, 21 inch diameter wheels on the rear. We want to make sure we take full advantage of that weight on the back end, powering off the line to maximize the traction. And with the optional Z07 package, we've seen a zero to 60 time of 2.6 seconds. We wanted to talk about how we can make this very performance-driven exterior, and how do we take the interior up to another level. When you get into a manufacturing process, to some extent, that becomes very stiff, and there's not a lot of uh, emotion and art and feel to it. How do you bring that human touch Carbon fiber is beautiful because you have this man-made material that's incredibly strong, lightweight, giving you that performance feeling. Then we bring the art into it by the forms that it has, and then hitting it with leather piece floating on top of it. Each one of them are like building a, a small sculpture, and it just blends those two worlds of art and science and craft and quality. You get that understanding that you bought more than just something that's exhilarating and fun, but you also have a full crafted piece that surrounds you. If you take exterior color, interior color, seat belts, calipers, wheels, you could build well over 11,000 different combinations. You can truly build whatever you want and make it bespoke to you. Having something that brings the thrill of driving to everybody in their own unique way has kind of really been the focus in Corvette. Legate Automotive Group has recently launched their Drive Life initiative, ensuring every customer gets into the perfect car to fit their lifestyle. To find out more about how they're putting you in the driver's seat, visit legate.ca slash drive life. We all take different roads to get where life takes us, but it's the journey of getting there that tells some of life's best stories. Start your next journey with Legate Automotive Group. We make finding your dream vehicle a breeze. Get started from the comfort of your own home by browsing our new and pre-owned inventory from your computer, tablet, or mobile device. We offer transparent pricing so you know exactly what you'll pay, whether you choose cash, lease, or finance. Choose the accessories that suit your lifestyle. Then add extra peace of mind with a protection plan that meets your needs. If you choose a lease or finance option, it's easy to manage your pre-approval with a simple and secure credit application. Once you're ready, you can book a test drive or place a deposit to reserve your vehicle. If you still need more time to review, save your deal for later and pick up right where you left off. 
Our staff is here to serve you, whether it's online or at the dealership. Endless roads, endless possibilities. Leggett, drive life. Both of the cars, the CT5 and the CT4 Black Wings, are rear-wheel drive. And they make quite a bit of power for it being rear-wheel drive and manual. Tell me a little bit about the power plant. So the CT5V Black Wing has a 6.2 liter supercharged uh, V8 engine, and the CT4V Black Wing has a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged engine. The CT5V makes 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. That is the most powerful Cadillac ever, which is something we're really, really proud of. It delivers 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds in over 200 mile an hour top speed. And the CT4V Blackwing is 472 horsepower and 445 foot pounds of torque, and that's 0 to 60 3.8 seconds. Okay, so that's a lot of power. And uh, I feel like only with technology, you're able to have this car that's rear wheel drive and with that much power. I mean, this thing is just uh, a rocket ship. First thing that I noticed is that it's available in a manual transmission. These are very serious driver's cars. And to be driver's cars, first and foremost, you need to row your own gears. So standard six-speed transmissions in both vehicles. We have active rev matching, and we have uh, no lift shift algorithms in the vehicles so that when you do shift your manual, you're not losing any time in between the shifts with uh, boost loss. MR 4.0, which was launched on the CT5V and CT4V, is also included in the Blackwing vehicles. It's the next generation of MR and provides more precise wheel control with better isolation. You guys put a lot of thought into these wheels for the Blackwing series cars. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Both vehicles have a forged aluminum alloy wheel, standard available in two different uh, finishes, a dark and a bright. The tires are the latest technology from Michelin, their Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's that are specifically designed and tuned for the V Black Wings. And there's actually some R compound in the tread uh, for these tires. Well, the wheels are designed also to fit the brakes, right? Because those brakes are huge. For example, the carbon ceramic brakes on the CT5, I think that caliper is bigger than my leg. Uh, and so you have to have that size wheel to fit those brakes. Absolutely, we have the largest brakes ever in production on a Cadillac on the CT5V Blackwing, 398 millimeters. And as you mentioned, we have an iron version and we now have a uh, carbon ceramic version. Carbon ceramics are a 53 pound reduction, which provides better performance and incredible stopping power. And they stop as well as they look. So incredible performance on that brake system. Josh, thank you so much for coming out to talk with us about uh, the design inspiration with the CT4V Blackwing and the CT5V Blackwing cars. I hear that they take a lot of inspiration from the race cars. As we started the project, one of the important things was that we really took from the race teams and took all that learning, all that heritage we've had from racing in the past 
and incorporate it into the cars. And we struck that fine balance of making sure it always added to the performance of the car, but it really stood out in the design and really stood for what V-Series means. John, thank you so much for coming out to talk to us about the interior. Can you tell us a little bit about the design philosophy behind them? Mm -hmm. We really want to take kind of our you know, history with racing and really want to inspire the, that to be the inspiration for the interior. Um, you see that in the, the different materials, uh, the way that they're layered, and a lot of precision, especially in the quilted pattern, and I love the piping. And it's really race inspired. So you see a lot of carbon fiber, you see the suede microfiber, and you see the high quality leather in the interiors, uh, whether that's in the shifter, the steering wheel, and also the seats themselves. The first thing that I noticed when I actually got in the car was the shifter and shift knob. You know, first of all, it's manual transmission. Save the manuals, not many of them left. This one is special. I noticed right away it's 3D printed. Tell me why is it 3D printed? We really want to take this as an opportunity um, to celebrate that. Um, and as you can see in the, in the center console, we really open up that space so that when you are shifting through gears, you have that space. The icing on the cake is that 3D printed. And we want to take that as an opportunity to really show the new technology and manufacturing. And there's these little details of the Mulgeon pattern that you're seeing in there as well. So again, it's a celebration. The heads up display is awesome. It feels like you're flying like a fighter jet. Right when you start it, everything is special about catering to give the driver information, just things like that kind of really take it over the top. Yeah, and you know, with the 12-inch reconfigurable cluster, we again, we want to give that, um, you know, that experience to our customers. When you do hit the V mode, you've got your three settings or three experiences, if you will, track, sport, and touring. And again, when you have the HUD, minimalizing everything too as well. You know, having your RPMs, having your shift um, lights, and just, again, getting that experience from the track into the customer um, experience as well. We can't talk about racing vehicles without a little bit of competition. Ready? Ready? Go! I'm Jonathan Rivers, a lead product planner for Acura. And next to me here is the all new TLX Type S. Now, it's been over a decade since an Acura vehicle wore the Type S moniker, but it's back and better than ever. So I'm gonna give you the best highlights of the performance and design elements that make this a Type S. Up front of the vehicle, you're gonna see Type S exclusive grill design. We call it our open surface diamond pentagon grille, which allows for more airflow and better cooling to the heart of the beast. An all new and exclusive three liter V6 turbocharged engine that produces 355 horsepower and 354 foot pounds of torque. It offers amazing performance and makes it the most powerful Type S model we've ever produced. Also down front here, you're gonna see air intakes that are actually functional for both brake cooling and radiator cooling. That's tied together with a Type S exclusive lower front splitter that truly shows our intention 
to make this a great dynamic vehicle. You'll see our very aggressive wheel and tire package. Now there's actually two options available for TLX Type S. What's next to me here is the optional high performance wheel and tire package, 20 inches in size, and the design derived directly from the NSX supercar. They're tied to aggressive Pirelli summer tires as well. Now, behind these massive wheels is our Acura Brembo four piston front calipers, which give us amazing braking performance. And as we continue along, you'll see Type S specific branding, piano black and dark accents along the side, and this truly amazing character line that continues for the entire length of the vehicle to these very muscular fenders. Now out back, there's great design details for TLX Type S. Starting with this aggressive rear deck lid spoiler in piano black. Not only does it look great, but it's actually functional. And in conjunction with this TLX Type S specific rear diffuser, it helps improve downforce for the vehicle. Now my favorite element are these quad exhaust finishers, almost four inches in size. And what's unique is on the inboard exhaust, there's actually an active exhaust valve. Now that's a flap that can open and close and change the sound of the vehicle depending on the drive mode that you're in. And believe me, this car sounds unbelievable. Now let's take a look inside the TLX Type S. From the moment you open the door, you'll notice an amazing blend of premium and performance elements. And it starts with the steering wheel. It's a sport steering wheel that's flat bottom in shape with perforated handles and metal paddle shifters for shifting that aggressive 10-speed transmission. But it doesn't stop there. You'll also notice these amazing 16-way power, ventilated and heated driver and passenger front seats offer amazing comfort and yet great side bolstering that's adjustable and even lumbar support. So as we look across, there's obviously great premium elements, but your ears are treated to the 17 speaker ELS Studio 3D premium audio with 700 watts of power. It's an award-winning system that will blow your mind. And lastly, you're gonna see Type S specific badging throughout on the front door sills, on that steering wheel, and even embossed into the headrest. All of us at Acura are super excited for the return of Type S, and we can't wait for you to get behind the wheel. First ever Sierra HE4X delivers extreme off-road capability in a rugged yet ultra-premium package. The HE4X builds upon the success of the wildly popular AT4, which is attracting new and younger customers to GMC. In fact, over half of AT4 buyers are new to the brand. From a design perspective, compared to the popular AT4, the AT4X is even more bold and expressive. This rugged and tough design may hint at what the AT4X can do, but it's what's under the skin that gives the truck its exceptional off-road capabilities. The AT4X also has a 6.2 liter V8 engine that delivers 420 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque, along with a 10-speed automatic transmission. The truck also includes an enhanced two-speed transfer case with selectable modes for different off-road conditions. Chad and his crew can go just about anywhere they want to. Off-road mode? provides precise throttle control through unique Stabilitrack settings. This allows for a bit more wheel slip to help get through gravel or muddy terrain. And four low with terrain mode is ideal for low speed off-road conditions, which require extreme control and precision. Once in four low and terrain mode, the truck's one pedal driving really makes challenging off-roading situations much easier to tackle. No, that doesn't mean there's just one pedal. What one pedal driving means is as soon as you let off the gas pedal, the truck begins slowing down. It can even slow the truck to a complete stop. 
Off-roading can be complicated and highly technical, like when you need to position a wheel on a rock or maneuver around obstacles in tight spaces. One-pedal driving gives drivers precise control of the vehicle to instill confidence and composure when the trails get really tough and challenging. There's also a new electronic precision shift system, which is paired with paddle shifters on the steering wheel. These paddle shifters make switching between levels a breeze, even easier for novices and experienced off-roaders alike. The truck also features electronic locking differentials, or e-lockers, on both front and rear wheels. These e-lockers are perfect when you encounter loose off-road surface conditions, which are pretty common in places like these. If one of the wheels is unable to gain traction, the front and rear e-lockers ensure that maximum power is put into all wheels, limiting slip. There are even available rock sliders for people who off-road in the most punishing conditions. The Sierra AT4X also features Multimatic DSSV aluminum body performance shocks, which were developed on the most demanding racetracks. They are specifically engineered, developed, and tested for the Sierra. These babies use spool valves that deliver incredible suspension dampening performance. I could get technical, but let me just cut to the chase. The AT4X performs like a confident off-road truck on the trails while still providing a smooth ride on the pavement. The perfect balance of extreme off-road capability and premium comfort. And when it comes time to tow, with GMC's renowned pro-grade trailering technologies available 14 camera views, that lets people like Chad take on serious towing with ultimate confidence. The new Sierra AT4X takes GMC's commitment to being bold, capable, and precisely crafted to the next level. Look at these cool high contrast design elements. There's jet black full grain leather throughout the interior with ceramic white and red accents. It's all accented with a black finished ash wood trim. And the leather also has these embossed technical graining accents and even a high performance coating for durability. The AT4X also offers many features like the ones I talked about with the Denali Ultimate, like the 12.3 inch driver information center, the 13.4 inch center touchscreen with Google built in, the 12 speaker Bose premium surround audio system, and those great 16 way adjustable power massaging seats. The new Sierra AT4X delivers the perfect balance of on-road composure with extreme off-road capability. It's just as home on long trips on the highway as it is out here in the wild during Chad's overlanding adventures. Best of all, it delivers an exceptional and refined experience wherever you need to go. Family of purpose-built professional grade vehicles designed and engineered to the highest standard. And with the new 2022 Sierra's unrivaled technology, first-class luxury, and serious capability, it's a family position to soar to even greater heights. One of the reasons I love this business, we're always on the move. The future of mobility, the truck market, the technology, the customers' wants and needs. They're all evolving constantly, and so are we. We never stop looking ahead to offer every customer a truck with the look, features, and price point they need. In 2019, we introduced an all new Silverado 1500 lineup with an expansive range of trim levels and equipment options. Since then, we've added special additions, greater towing capacity, an efficient 3.0 liter diesel engine, Silverado's first ever available multi-flex tailgate, and a suite of towing technology enhancements. And we're continuing to refresh our lineup and innovate based on the changing needs of today's truck customers. We're gonna show you Silverado's latest updates today. We set out to give customers a wider range of choices and at the same time, elevate Silverado's design from the inside out. We've enhanced the design of the Silverado's exterior to give it a more premium look. Every trim features a new front fascia, which emphasizes the truck's stability and strength with a wide planted stance. On LT trim and above, daytime running lamps have been programmed with unique animation sequences, and the available fog lamps have a new design that lends a contemporary look. 
We gave the truck a unique, bold front end. The front bumper has a cutaway design that gives the ZR2 a better approach angle, especially on the corners. The sculpted steel bumper and integrated skid plate prioritize durability and repairability. A camera integrated into the grille helps the driver view the terrain on technical maneuvers. And the substantial wheel flares give the truck a rugged appearance while helping to protect the sheet metal from flying debris. The big story is in sight. We completely reimagined the interior on LT trains and above. We made them feel more spacious and more premium. The center stack is canted toward the driver to make things more accessible. And we created a series of horizontal lines and float elements that add a spacious and streamlined look. The centerpiece of the new design is the 13.4 inch diagonal touchscreen. Paired with the touchscreen is a 12.3 inch diagonal digital instrument cluster. Together, they provide almost panoramic access to all the vital vehicle information and infotainment options. We intentionally designed open storage compartments in the console. That's one advantage to an electronic shift, which is included on trucks with bucket seats. Our goal was to create a premium interior marked by materials that are easy to wipe down after a long day on the trail. And as an off-roader myself, I know how these trucks are used. The ZR2 not only looks like a great off-roader, it functions like one too. The Greystone soft trim, paired with a jet black environment and technical decor, communicating no-nonsense, ready-for-anything attitude. And the aggressive side bolsters, prominent shoulder pads, and unique seat patterns are a nod to the off-road performance the ZR2 is capable of. The new Silverado interior is loaded with surprises that upgrade the customer experience. And nowhere is this more evident, perhaps, than in the Silverado High Country. As our most premium option, the High Country's console, glove box, and doors are trimmed with real open pour wood. The premium Bose performance speakers feature large stainless steel grills. A unique wingtip perforation runs the full length of the seat and into the leather on the console. It has a special touch of quality and craftsmanship. The embroidered headrest, the piping, and bold color options put the High Country in its own league. Humanized mobility means integrating technology intuitively, and I believe it is a huge differentiator for Silverado. Even before starting the vehicle, we thought about the experience. As soon as the customer gets behind the wheel, we bring light onto the display. It's a much more beautiful and engaging experience than a static display. And it's a gentle and intuitive reminder that the technology is there working for the customer. We have one of the widest touchscreens in the truck market, and we offer a completely reconfigurable digital instrument cluster as standard on LT trim and above. With Silverado, there's a cluster designed for everyone. Available on most trims, Chevy with Google built-in compatibility works alongside Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to offer a level of customization and flexibility that hasn't existed before. And customers can do more with voice commands, meaning hands stay on the wheel and eyes stay on the road. Great user experience design is an enabler to help customers do everything they want to do, whether it's navigating to a location, finding their favorite song or podcast, or hooking the truck up to a trailer. We look for creative and thoughtful ways to organize and scale all of that information so that it's useful for everyone. Trailer towing is often a difficult task. We've worked hard to provide trailering features that are easy to use every step of the way. The system walks customers through the steps to connect a trailer, helping to ensure everything is connected and the lights and brakes work properly. The system can also provide warnings if parts of the hitching process have gone wrong. On high country trim, we also offer Super Cruise hands-free driver assistance technology which comprehends the additional mass of the trailer, adjusting speed through curves or the following distance behind another vehicle. Trying to gauge the length of a trailer relative to car in the next lane can be tricky. To help, we've enhanced side blind zone alert to account for the length of the trailer. Plus, our camera views are enhanced by the larger 13.4 inch diagonal screen. Safety is built into Silverado from the ground up. Chevy Safety Assist is a suite of six standard active safety features available at all trims. 
The 22 Silverado systems are capable of receiving updates over the air, keeping the truck fresh with the latest available technology long after it's driven off the dealership lot. Under the hood, we have news to share on the 2.7 liter turbo. It's just one of a family of tried and true truck engines, but the upgrades make it a leader in its own right, especially if you're a fan of its key attributes. Today, we're one step closer in our pursuit of offering every customer a truck with the look, features, and price point they need. On the outside, Silverado has a fresh look that emphasizes the truck stance. Inside is an exciting new interior that feels roomier and more premium, with larger screens and new materials. New, intuitive, easy-to-use technologies provide an outstanding user experience. A significantly upgraded 2.7-liter turbo engine features best-in-class torque. And the ZR2, our new flagship lifted truck, offers a unique balance of off-road guts and on-road manners. And we're so excited to share the new 2022 Silverado with our customers. We know they're going to love it just as much as we do. Hey Team Acura, I'm Jonathan Rivers with Acura Product Planning and I'm here at our secret proving ground in the middle of the Mojave Desert. And if that sounds familiar, just because a few months ago we were here introducing the TLX Type S, but today we're here for the next chapter with the all new MDX Type S. So we're going to walk around, talk about some of the new exterior changes, interior changes and powertrain changes that make the MDX Type S special. So let's go and start from the front. The first thing you'll notice is the menacing diamond pentagon grille. And yes, just like the TLX Type S, it has the new open surface design. But there's a few key differences from TLX Type S that we should point out. The surround for the grille is actually body color this time, which really helps to blend in and give MDX Type S an aggressive stance. You'll also notice for the mesh itself, it's a gloss black finish that really gives it an aggressive design. Additionally, you'll notice the lower fascia for MDX Type S is completely different, exclusive from all of the other trims. And it was designed and styled that way to support the additional cooling for the Type S engine and to improve aerodynamics. Now, speaking of engines, just like the TLX Type S, this has the same three liter V6 turbocharged engine, producing an impressive 355 horsepower and 354 foot pounds of torque. And that's made it to our in-house 10 speed transmission with super handling all wheel drive coming as standard. Now there's two trims to MDX type S and we're standing next to the fully loaded advanced trim. So you'll notice some other additional features like the surround view camera here in the grill uh, LED fog lights, and a lot of other premium touches which we'll get to on the interior. And as you come along the side here, one of the first things you'll notice is the very aggressive wheel and tire package, our largest ever fitted on an Acura vehicle. 21 inch size wheels, Berlina black with machine finish for a very aggressive design. And of course behind it, just like the TLX Type S, we have our electro servo braking system with Brembo four piston front calipers. Alongside the vehicle, you'll notice a lot of gloss black elements, including the actual fender flares, the mirror caps, and even the molding around the windows, which all make MDX Type S have a very aggressive and sporty design. Now let's take a look at the rear of the vehicle and see how it all comes together. 
You'll notice that aggressive design continues with the dark accent tail lights, the gloss black treatment, and the gloss black rear diffuser, which wraps around the quad exhaust finishers just like the TLX Type S. It even has the same active exhaust valve system that changes the volume and the sound quality depending on the drive mode you set inside. Now, as we take a look, you'll see exclusive Type S branding. And because this is the advanced spec with all of the features and trims, it even has the hands-free access for utility. So with a quick kick under the rear diffuser, you get the tailgate to open up. You'll notice the same premium three row seating as all MDXs. But with this being a Type S version, we have the battery of the vehicle here in the rear for better weight distribution. And with this being the advanced trim, you have all the top safety and tech features. Now, lastly, we have the walkaway auto lock function, which I'll demonstrate now. And we'll move to the inside to show you all those new techs and features. I mean, just wow. Look at the interior of the MDX Type S. It truly has taken Acura to the next level for premium touch points, materials, technologies, and features. So let's talk about a few of the things that first stand out. I think the moment you'll sit in, you'll notice the high contrast stitching and piping throughout. And I mean, these seats, they have an all new quilted seat design on the top trim of Type S and it looks unbelievable. But not only do they look amazing, but for the first time, both the driver and passenger have a massage seat function. And it's very easy to get to. It's a simple button on the dash. And when you push that, you actually have nine way functionality for the massage seats, the most in the class and the best in the class for sure. So now every commute you have is gonna be amazing. And I mean, I guess the next thing I look over and see is this amazing speaker grill, which is a part of the all new ELS Studio 3D signature audio system. It has 25 speakers, 1000 watts of power. And I mean, just look at this, the speaker cone, which is made of carbon fiber, actually illuminates with the ambient lighting theme throughout. It sounds incredible. And of course, beyond that, there's some other new key technologies within MDX Type S. One of them is that the vehicle has air suspension. It gives you a whole new level of customization. And you'll notice even here in the dynamic mode, as you switch through going from snow and then to the lift mode, you actually see that the vehicle rises up due to the air suspension up to 50 millimeters in lift mode to give you that easy in and out access when you have rocks or other things in front of the vehicle. What's also neat is if you change the drive modes to let's say the Sport Plus, the suspension goes the other way. It actually goes down up to 15 millimeters to really bring the vehicle to an aggressive sporty stance and give you the best driving dynamics and acceleration possible. MDX Type S has truly raised the bar for Acura. Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us for a first look at the all new Kia Sportage because Sportage has grown to be one of the largest vehicles in its segment. It's more than seven inches longer than today's Sportage. And the wheelbase is over three inches longer. It's also wider and taller by about half an inch each. Some of those adjustments in size may seem minor, but the interior is really where you notice the difference. In the back, there's 28% more cargo room, making it among the largest in the segment. 
And for rear passengers, we have three more inches of rear legroom. That's best in class. The first thing that catches my eye is this incredible screen. This system gives you a driver-oriented 12-inch digital cluster, extending into a 12-inch infotainment screen. And from today, Uvo becomes Kia Connect. For Sportage, this means a Wi-Fi hotspot, over-the-air updates for maps, and a new stolen vehicle recovery system with a mobilization, and phone connectivity through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Just below the infotainment screen, there's a new touchpad for climate and audio. Switching between the functions also changes what they do. They're either temperature controls for you and your passenger, or volume and tuning for your premium Harman Kardon sound system. All it takes to customize throttle response, transmission shift response, and steering is a twist of a knob. The enhanced drive mode system is perfect for snow, mud, and the sandy surface I'm on right now. Sportage is more capable in a number of ways. We added two inches more ground clearance for a total of 8.3 inches, essentially making snowy and muddy roads something you used to worry about. Our new X-Line and Sportage X-Pro models take it even further. The X-Line gives you a unique front end, a two-tone roof with a raised roof rack for your gear, and on the inside, an aggressive seat pattern that resembles a rugged tire print. Our new Sportage X-Pro model builds on that to give you the gear to really get you off the beaten path, including a multi-terrain driving mode and all new BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. The 2.5 liter engine is new with an eight speed automatic that targets an estimated 28 MPG combined. Down the road, Sportage will offer electrified options, giving you exciting performance with increased efficiency and zero range anxiety. X-Line and Sportage X-Pro really redefine what a Sportage can be, opening it up to customers who may never have thought about it before. Tell you what wasn't fun though, fighting the traffic to get up here. But Sportage came through for me there as well. You get lane following and lane keeping assist and forward collision avoidance with junction turning capability, which means Sportage even helps to look out for possible collisions while you're turning through an intersection. Blind spot collision avoidance assist activates automatically whenever you use your turn signal. If you do get into a situation, not only will Sportage give you a warning, it will help you break if needed. But the coolest thing is the available blind view monitor on the cluster. Sportage also adds some great new available parking tech. There's a 360 degree surround view monitor, which is a big help when parking in tight spaces. Or you can use remote smart parking assist. Let's say you need to squeeze between two full size pickups. You can position your vehicle, step out and use your key fob to move your Sportage forward into the space. Later on, you can back it out the same way. There's no better model to show Sportage's lines than the SX trim. It starts with the design inspiration of Opposites United, which is all about contrast and tension and paying tribute to nature in everything. On the exterior, that's expressed through clean, muscular surfaces contrasted by edgy lines and aggressive graphics. Up front, Sportage stands out, much like our all new EV6, but it still retains a strong SUV personality. Our signature Tiger Nose grille is supported by this bold and technical grille graphic, along with standard LED headlamps and boomerang shaped DRLs. Here on the side, we again have crisp feature lines cutting across refined body surfaces that bring everything together. At the D-pillar, Opposites United comes through in this deconstructed effect. The rear of the vehicle is defined by powerful broad shoulders that suggest stability and give it a planted stance. Sharp looking rear lamps are connected by a slim horizontal graphic, emphasizing stability and giving the vehicle a wide impression. A large black lower graphic connects all of the rear design elements and gives the whole section a sense of lightness. The space inside a vehicle is more important than ever. We're all about contrasting boldness and softness. 
The integrated curved display and the air vent are bold features. I like to think the driver and passengers don't just feel connected to the world, but also more connected to the car. That's where the softness comes in. The way our cockpit environment wraps slightly around the driver and presents the integrated touch switches speaks to that. We put a lot of thought into other conveniences too. There's plenty of storage and it's been a while since I've been proud of a cup holder, but I am of these. You only need cup holders when you have a cup to put in them, right? So why not make the space useful for other things like a tablet? The seats are bold and strong. There's a sense of width, but also a sporty hugging effect when you're in them. Real stitching and detailed patterns create a feeling of luxury, as does the animal-free leather. The rear seats are luxurious and well-appointed. So that is our all-new Sportage, a bold new design that stands out in a crowded segment and redefines its role in the Kia SUV lineup. A detailed interior that makes a powerful first impression and thoughtful features and technologies aimed at making your urban and outdoor adventures easier and more enjoyable. We're excited to bring it to market in LX, EX, SX, and SX Prestige trims, and adding our new X-Line, Sportage X Pro, and future hybrid models will open Sportage up to a whole new range of customers. We can't wait. Thanks for joining us today. Hello everyone, this is Matt Jensen from Leggett Automotive Group. We're gonna to conclude today's session with some sneak peek footage from vehicles that were recently announced, including the Acura Integra, which is coming back after a 15 year hiatus, the Ford Bronco Raptor Edition, the next generation Civic Type R, and the first ever Mazda CX-50. Winners for today's giveaway will be selected on conclusion of that segment. So make sure you type exclamation mark raffle in chat to secure your entry. The first winner selected will win today's grand prize, a detailing package worth $300, and the second and third winner selected will receive $50 Visa gift cards. Just a reminder for everyone watching that tomorrow is going to feature electric vehicles, and we're leading into the session with a special guest speaker from Google Canada who will talk about the future of EV infrastructure. We look forward to having you back tomorrow and enjoy the rest of the show.
Mods for Nature. The first ever Mazda CX-50. From myself and everyone at Leggett Automotive Group, I thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for more amazing car features. And don't forget about our daily giveaways.